hello students welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 16 hibler dynamics the problem says that the slider block c moves at 8 meter per second down the inclined groove determine the angular velocities of links a b and b c at the instant shown so when this we see is making 45 degree we are required to find the angular velocity of this link ab and this link bc so here i have shown the free body diagram this is the initial position of the mechanism ab and bc and when this point c moves in this direction so after some time this point c will be somewhere here and this point b will be here so what will happen is that um, this a b link will 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 travel some angular displacement in this direction and it will have some angular velocity omega a b so let's say that we have that omega a b here so this is omega a b this is the free this is the free body diagram of that link a b so we will have omega a b in this direction that is in the clockwise direction so this is our omega a b and as we can see that this point b is only moving relative to this point a which is stationary so its uh, velocity will will only be due to this uh, angular velocity and as we know that since this point b will rotate in a circular path so its velocity will always be tangent to this path or we can say that the velocity of this point b will be tangent to this a b link so we can show the direction of velocity of point b so that vb will be acting vertically downward so that vb and the magnitude of the velocity of this point b will be equal to the radius this radius times uh, angular velocity of this link a b so the radius is two meters so we can say that the magnitude of the vb is two 2 omega a b and similarly uh, uh, on this link b c this uh, point b will move with the same velocity in the downward direction this same v b so we can show that v b here as well we will have that same v b uh, which is vertically downward of magnitude uh, this 2 omega a b and as we can see here that this point b has traveled some distance uh, some displacement like this or we can say that uh, this end b has traveled some angular velocity some angular displacement in this direction and similarly this point c has traveled some angular displacement in this direction so we can see we can say that this uh, bc link have some angular velocity in the uh, counterclockwise direction since this point b is moving in this direction and point c is moving in this direction so this bc link uh, have some angular velocity like this so we can say that the angular velocity of link bc is in the counterclockwise direction and that is omega bc and as we know that the velocity of this block c is 8 meter per second and it is making 45 degrees so this we can show that velocity here at c so that will be our vc this is that velocity vc and this velocity vc is making uh, 45 degrees with the vertical now let's write the velocity of c so velocity of c will be equal to velocity of b plus the velocity of c relative to b so now we know the magnitude of velocity of b which is 2 omega a b let me write it here as well so this is 2 omega a a into b and we see is 8 meter per second and this velocity of c relative to b is always due to this angular velocity of link b c and we consider that this point c is revolving around this point b in a circular path 
so if this velocity is due to the motion in the circular path then the, the magnitude of this velocity will always be equal to the this length of bc which is the radius of that circular path times this omega bc and the direction of this velocity of c relative to b will always be tangent to this link so if this uh, bc link is moving in this direction that is omega bc is in this direction then this velocity of c relative to b must be in this direction and perpendicular to this link bc so let me show that uh, velocity of c relative to b its magnitude will be the length of bc times this omega bc the length of bc is this two meters so this is 2 times omega bc so now we will apply this equation and we will use the scalar method we will apply this equation for the x components and we will apply for the y components so first of all we will apply in the horizontal direction so towards the right is our positive direction let's define our positive x and y direction so this is our positive x and y so this equation will be v c x the component of vb in the x plus the component of velocity of c relative to b in the x now as we can see that this is vc this vc is making 45 degree with the vertical so it will have one component in this direction and this will be another component this one will be the cost component this one is the sine component and this is in the horizontal direction that is in the positive x direction so towards the right is the positive x so we see has 8 sine of 45 in the positive x direction similarly this vb is only acting in the vertical direction so its horizontal component is zero so we will write that vbx is zero plus this velocity is only in the horizontal direction it is in the positive x so this is 2 omega bc so we will write plus 2 omega bc now dividing both sides of equation by 2 this will become 0 plus 2 omega bc and then omega bc will be equal to 8 sine of 45 divided by 2 so 8 sine of 45 divided by 2 gives us 2.828 so omega bc is 2.828 radian per second and it is in the counterclockwise direction this is in the counterclockwise direction if somehow our assumption was uh, not accurate so then we would have answer negative right so this would be minus 2.828 uh, let's say if you if you guys get the answer is negative then the assumed direction will not be accurate and omega bc will be in the opposite direction so now here we got the positive sign so this means that omega bc is in the counterclockwise direction so this is omega bc of magnitude 2.8 to 8 radian per second and it is in the counterclockwise direction similarly we will apply this equation for the vertical component so we will write that v c y is equal to v b y plus velocity of c relative to b in the y direction so this is the component of vc in the y direction and that is in the negative y and this is the cos component so we have vc 8 cos of 45 in the negative y direction vb is itself in the y direction so 2 omega a, a b is in the negative y so 2 omega a b and this velocity is only in the horizontal direction so its vertical component is zero so this is zero so now again this equation is like this and if we divide both sides of equation by minus two so omega a b uh, this will be again that same answer let's say this is minus will cancel out and we will have 8 uh, sine of 45 so sine of 45 and cos of 45 have same value so we will get that same velocity angular velocity omega a b this is equal to 2.828 radian per second and since omega a b uh, is 
uh, in the clockwise direction right so since we know that uh, the assumed direction was in the clockwise direction and we got the positive sign so this means that this direction is the actual angular velocity direction so this is omega a b magnitude is 2.828 and this is in the clockwise direction so this is in the clockwise direction so this is how we can um, find the angular velocities using the scalar method we can use the vector method as well so let's apply that method now so while applying the vector method there is no need to think of the direction of this uh, velocity of c relative to b right so we will write this equation is we see velocity of b plus since this velocity of c relative to b is due to the omega bc so this will be omega bc cross product with uh, rc relative to b so now we need to define this rc relative to b so this will be the position vector from b to c so let's write the position vector from b to c so the position vector from b to c will be this one so we need to write this vc as a cartesian vector so we see have uh, one component in the horizontal one component in the vertical one component in the horizontal the horizontal component is the sine component and the vertical component is the cos component so we can write that vc is 8 uh, sine of 45 in the positive i let me draw those components here so we have one component here and one this so this one is 8 sine of 45 in the positive i and this one is 8 cos of 45 in the negative j so this is in the positive i and minus 8 cos of 45 in the negative j and this is equal to vb now vb is only in the vertical direction that is in the negative j direction so we will write minus 2 omega a b in the j and this will be plus now since we have assumed that omega b c is in the counterclockwise direction so if we curl our right hand fingers in the direction of omega b c so the thumb will point out of the screen and out of the screen is our positive k direction so this means that omega b c is in the positive k direction so we will write this is omega let me write it in red so this is omega b c in the positive k and cross product with the position vector from b to c so the position vector from b to c has a magnitude of two meters and it is in the negative j so this is two into minus j so now this is that equation in terms of vector so now we can write that this is plus eight sine of 45 in the positive i eight cos of 45 in the negative j equals to minus 2 omega a b in the negative j and here we need to take the cross product so this will be minus 2 omega b c and k into j so k into j is in the reverse order so k into j is minus i right so we can see that this is this will be minus 2 omega bc into minus i so that will become plus right let me write it like this this will be minus 2 omega bc and k cross i is minus so this will become plus so we can write it like this so this is 2 omega bc in the positive i so in the first method um, according to our assumption of omega bc that omega bc is in the counterclockwise direction so if omega bc is in the counterclockwise direction so velocity of c relative to b this is velocity of c relative to b it must be in the positive i direction so that was in the positive i direction so here from the cross product we got the same direction in the positive i direction now comparing both sides of equation equating the i component with i and j with j we will get omega a b and omega b c so comparing the i components we can write that 2 omega b c is equal to 8 sine of 45 degrees so omega b c 
is 8 sine of 45 divided by 2 so we will get that same answer 2.828 radian per second and similarly comparing the j component so we can say that minus 2 omega a b is equal to this so minus 2 omega a b is equal to minus 8 cos of 45 and dividing both sides by uh, minus 2 so we will get that same angular velocity of link a b of magnitude 2.828 radian per second and still we need to write that omega b c is in the counterclockwise direction and this is in the clockwise direction so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope all this all this discussion and solution will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibler Dynamics.